Bora TV. The world is thinking. WikiLeaks has been going for four years. You know, it, it's um, funny that the, the US media seems to have suddenly discovered us on this issue and say, well, why don't you publish all this stuff about China? Well, actually, why, I think it was Bill Keller, was it, or the lawyer was, was in China? I mean, we have published the entire censorship list for China. Um, but that was not reported uh, in the US press because the US is, press is interested in the United States. It is not interested in what happens outside the United States. Uh, it, it is a bubble. It is a goldfish bowl of, of constant self-referral and self-reporting. Now, just as we had been publishing for the past three years prior to this um, in, uh, confrontation um, with the Pentagon and the State Department, we will continue. Um, it should be understood that prior to the April release of collateral murder um, between January and April, uh, we raised a million dollars uh, from the public for all these other things that we had been publishing. Another question? Can I just respond to one sure. piece of that? Because it, it, the piece that doesn't sit well with me is this notion that uh, the New York Times and that Americans in general aren't interested in what happens outside of the United States. Um, you know, our traffic spikes when something happens in Egypt or Libya. We have 40 staff correspondents, a small army of stringers and videographers and photographers who are covering all kinds of stories, including the two wars that we got the war logs about, including uh, we have people in, we have a, a stringer in Syria, we have reporters in Libya, as you people here probably know, we had four of our journalists uh, detained and beaten uh, in Libya covering that story. Uh, we've had, uh, on my watch, uh, four people killed uh, working for the New York Times covering these wars. So it's, you know, it's very easy to sit, uh, you know, in front of a Skype and talk about the New York Times not caring about the world, but it insults the honor and the, and the work of a lot of really good journalists. Okay, I, was, I wasn't attacking the New York Times in this regard. I'm just talking about the media economic climate as a whole. Um, but of course, I can point to uh, people that I was working with in Kenya who were killed as well, if that is what we want to do for this debate. However, I say 40 people in the New York Times to cover the entire world, where the New York Times is the opinion leader in the United States, is a state of desperation. 40 people to cover the entire world. Um, and that's not a criticism of the New York Times. It exists within a particular market and particular economic constraints.